Hi, my name is Jason Garfoot. I'm an application engineer here at 3M. We're excited to bring you a brand new video series on express repair or sometimes called spot repair. We've noticed over the last few years that this process has become a lot more prevalent in body shops. And that process is taking a small damaged area, typically something we can keep within one panel and doing that as fast as we can while maintaining quality. In this video series, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. Before we get started, we do want to say that this video is intended for professional use only, so you that are actually out there in the shops working. We also want to mention it's important to always wear the proper PPE. In this video series, you'll notice I'll be wearing my safety glasses at all times. Anytime I'm working with a chemical that I shouldn't be breathing in or there's particle or dust in the air from sanding, I'll also be wearing my half mask respirator. Anytime I'm using a razor blade to trim out my plastic or any other sharp tools, I'll be wearing my cut resistant gloves. And I'll also be wearing ear protection anytime I'm using a louder sanding tool like a grinder or even a file belt sander. Anytime we're working with chemicals, we also want to be sure to wear our nitrile gloves. If you have any other questions on the safety side, be sure to check the description down below. So now we're ready to start our express repair. In this first video, we're going to show you what to do on the prep side. So as you can see, our door's already been torn down, our mirror is off, our belt molding's off, our door handle's out everything's ready to start the cleaning and sanding process. So as I said, step one is to clean the panel. So we're gonna take some wax and grease remover, make sure we're wearing our nitro gloves and our respirator, and we're gonna get this panel all cleaned off. Once we finish that, we're gonna use masking tape, and we're gonna perimeter mask all the way around the panel that we're gonna be repairing. I know this isn't what you would normally do in a standard repair, but with an express repair, we're basically gonna get the entire panel ready for prep before we actually jump in and do the repair itself. The reason being is, once our outside is all masked off, we're gonna remask around our repair area so we can sand that down, get our body filler on and sand it, get our primer on and sand it, and once we pull that masking off, we're ready to go right into the booth and start spraying immediately. So step one, after we clean it, is the perimeter mask so we don't accidentally sand where we don't wanna sand. We wanna make sure we keep our repair area as small as possible. So what I'm gonna do is use some inch and a half tape. I'm gonna mask off the panels all the way around. We're not gonna worry about the insides yet. We'll do that later when it's actual time for paint masking. Now that we have our perimeter masking done, we can go ahead and scuff all of our edges. Again, this is gonna seem backwards, but remember we're gonna prep the entire panel for paint before we get in and actually do our little repair. So we're gonna start with whatever your paint company's recommendations are for the paint line we're using. We're gonna scuff all of our edges with a gray Scotch-Brite, or we could do it by hand with 800 to 1000 grit paper. So now that all of our edges are scuffed, we're ready to do our final sand for paint. So what we're gonna do, again, is follow your paint company's recommended procedures and uh, the coarseness of the sandpaper you should use. For our paint line, we're gonna be using 800 to 1000 grit paper and we're gonna sand everything down like we were getting it ready for base clear. Uh, we wanna sand all the texture out, make sure we cover our straight line scratches that may be left from hand scuffing. Um, I'm gonna throw my respirator on to do that because we're gonna have some dust in the air. Uh, and then after that, we'll get to move on to our actual repair area. So it's always a good idea as you're sanding your panel and you're thinking you're about done sanding to just go ahead and clean it off once and check and look for texture. If you look closely here, we can see a bunch of little white spots. That means there's still a little bit of orange peel in that panel that we haven't quite sanded flat yet. So we know that we need to sand this spot just a little bit more. As base coat has become a little trickier and colors have gotten trickier and metallics have gotten finer, any little bit of texture can lead to metallic settling, especially far away from our repair area where our blend's gonna be. So we wanna make sure we sand that flat and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now that our panel is fully sanded and ready for paint, now we're gonna dive in and attack the repair area. So the first thing we're gonna do is put on our respirator and we're gonna go in with our different sanding tools and we wanna take down our repair area to bare metal. Now that we've gone ahead and feathered out our repair area, we took everything down to bare metal so we can use our filler. But as you can see, our low spot still has paint in the center of it. 
We want to make sure we get all of that paint out and take it down to bare metal to make sure our body filler has the right surface to adhere to. A good way to do that is with a file belt sander and a Scotch-Brite belt on it. Um, that way we're not going to take too much metal off, but we can make sure we get all the way down to the bottom and get off all the paint. So I'm going to throw on my respirator and finish sanding this out. Now that we have our repair area sanded down to bare metal and feathered out nice, we're ready to move on to the next step. In the next step, we're gonna take off all of our perimeter masking, give everything one good clean again to make sure we have as little dust as possible. And then we can go ahead and back mask everything, bag the whole car just like we were gonna take it into paint. And then once we're finished with that, trim out our repair area, and then I'll back tape that to the plastic that's there to sandwich it in. Now that we have the plastic on the vehicle and it's fully bagged off, that concludes our first video which focuses mainly around the prep side. In our upcoming videos, we're going to actually tackle the repair, so that's going to be everything from mixing and spreading body filler through mixing, applying primer, curing it, and sanding it. So be sure to tune in for those. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to like or comment below. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe or check out 3M Collision Repair Academy.